Well, we finally have made it back to Stumps Pass, which had been closed for quite some time after Hurricane Ian. The uh, bathhouse is still not functional and they have a trailer version of that here. Doesn't seem to be stopping anybody from coming here because the parking lot was packed full. We're lucky we got a space. The mangroves seem to have taken some heavy damage since the last time we were here. But uh, we're hoping it washed in a bunch of shark's teeth. Let's go check out and see what we find. Fairly calm today, at least. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, don't know what you're talking about. Mm -mm. All right. Now the question is, do we want to go further down, or do we want to go further up? Oh wow, babe! Look, there's a boat beach down there. Holy smokes. So yeah, still not quite straightened out for me and just yet. Well, you know, honey, call me crazy, but there's a lot more sand here than there used to be. There's a, a bunch more sand. You wanna to try to the right today instead of further down? Okay, well, let's give it a whirl. Soft sand. Wow. Lots and lots of shell pieces. Arcs everywhere I look. A lot more shells than I was expecting, too. Lots of interesting things along these piles, and I see more piles up there where their shells are. Yeah, it's smoothed out quite a bit since the last time we were here. Ooh! That's not as bad as I would have thought. Chilly, but not terrible. All right, babe, do you see all those light that's all shell piles? That's where we want to go. Well, hopefully we'll have good luck today. That's not a tooth, is it? Nope. Plant material. Tricky, tricky. A leaf. Yeah, a leaf. <laughs> it's a frag. Is it? Yep. Or is it just a rock? It's a frag lid on. Look at that. See the curve? That one is, that one's not. Some little babies, nice. I thought you just stepped on one. That's a piece of turtle, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going after. Not sure that is anything, but rinse it off and look afterwards. This is somebody's dump pile. They got into it with the big scoop and the stuff that's rolling around in the brake line. Yep. Hey, but they missed this one. They sure did. Ta-da! First good little find of the day. Yay. Oh! Look up here. And then laddered horn shell. It's a nice little shell to find here too. And there is a nice big serif. I think I see one. I 
let's take a look. Yep, that is a piece of a shark's tooth right there. Ooh, what do we got here? This little shiny little guy. It's gonna be a mouth plate out of a puffer fish, I do believe. All right, here I am at the, ah, oh, cold. At the cold water's edge. And hopefully this is showing up on the camera and you can see all the things rolling around in here. And these chunks of black are what we're looking for because that shows you where the, the bone pieces and everything else are. And the teeth are usually in with this gravelly stuff. Oh, that's cold. Burr. What did you find? Oh, nice. Go to tooth, excellent. I think I have a piece of turtle shell or bone. Very fun. Take that little tiny guy and put him in the jar. Oops. Here we go. There's all kinds of pieces of stuff here. That's a piece of bone from who knows what. Oh wow! Look, there's a little apple murex hiding in and amongst all this stuff. Yeah. And more pieces of bone. So yeah, there's definitely some nifty stuff here. Really pretty little scallop right there. A little calico. And these guys, which I've been calling Venus mistakenly, these are actually juvenile quahog clams. And look at the patterning on some of them. Those are really cool too. Pieces of crazy stuff everywhere. And that looks like bone, just wood. That is actually off of a bone. Black on the one side and that brown inner part on the other. And it's all mixed in all those things all at the beach. All right, we found this little spot here where shells wash up and pile up here on the shore. And we're gonna spend some time sifting through some of this stuff and see if we can find any teeth that are buried by the sand and the shell pieces. One of the things they say to look for is something shiny. So this piece is shiny, let's have a look at it. No, just a little rock. But lots of things washing out of the sand and lots of things just there in the break line, right there in front of us. So yeah, this is where we're gonna stop and sift for a while. Before I go all nuts on the sharking, let's see what goodies I find here. A little olive oil worn smooth, a gorgeous painted egg cockle, very nice. What else? Oh. Turkey wing here. And there's a little serif. I think the best part of the day is right before you start looking when you have that excitement where, gosh, good stuff could just be anywhere. There's a nice mossy arc. That's a really good one. And there's a serith up there. Oh, broken rough scallop. Yeah. Okay, John has scooped some shell material in here. And look, there's two little baby teeth right here. Make sure you don't drop them. Look at those two little cuties. Fun. Now people do find much bigger stuff here. And of course that's what we're hoping for too. But you know, we won't kick little ones out of the basket and take those home too. Okay, I just sat down without even looking 
and I'm practically on top of a couple right here. There's a nice little tooth right there. And this nice brown one, see, so they're not just black. You have to look for that golden color too on them. Very cool. Let's see if I uncover any other goodies. to just skim my hands across the top of the shelves and see if they're underneath the top layer. That's how I usually have my best luck here at Stumps. Another piece of one in there too. Very cool. Alright, I lean forward. I see a tegulus. Hey, that's a really purple, purple tegulus. That one's pretty. Okay, I haven't even moved yet. I turned. And look at that. Wow, that one's beautiful. Woohoo! And then there's another one up here. Look at the coloring on that. That's awesome. And no, I did not miss the yellow coquina. But I don't know if he's empty. <gasps> he is. So all I had to do was turn. I didn't even have to move. All right. I'm not really moving. I'm just kind of scooching over. Ooh, just pulled this one out of the sand. Neat. Slowly go over this and see if we see any others. I do. There's a little itty teeny tiny bitty tooth. How cute. Let's just move this little layer of shells very gently. And pick up anything pointy. There's an itty bitty itty bitty tiny tiny one too. Now, I know everybody thinks they want to find all the big teeth, but you have to kind of go diving down here to do that. There's another one I just pulled off right off the surface, not even digging. So there's four so far, just in this little spot. Get down close so you can see it. Right there. Awesome. No idea what that is. Oh, those trick us a lot too, those seed pods. There's just so much teeny tiny black stuff to look at. Let's see how deep this goes, just for the heck of it. So yeah, there's still pieces of broken shell and all kinds of stuff down in there too. Pulverized. I moved over about a foot and a half. I haven't really even moved. And I'm gonna see what's in front of what I just picked up. Okay, off to the side. I did find a serif and I am gonna keep him too. But yeah, see how pieces of these things get just under the shells. Is it just a little bit heavier?
like something too. So that looks like tooth enamel there. I'm not sure what that is. I think I might keep it. There's one. And another one. And another. Oh, this place is great. All sorts of neat stuff. Oh my gosh. I moved my leg and I was leaning on top of two of them and didn't even know it. Very cool. And is this enough? That's a tip off of something. It might be a fish tooth, like a barracuda tooth, though. It doesn't look sharp like Awesome. I think there's one right here. Well, maybe not a shark tooth, maybe. Hard to tell, but. I think that's the root and the tooth would be right here. Mm -hmm. A little shard of one. And that little guy. Last time I was here, I went home with a container full of small ones. Hoping to have that same luck today. Alright, I guess I'm going to move over another foot and skim some more. This is kind of a fun piece. This is off of mouth plate from a stingray. Find lots of those here too. <laughs> That's a nice piece of bone that's very polished sure what that goes to but it feels great it's so glossy and see I'm not moving much just skimming the surface to see if they're under the shelves because they're a tiny little bit heavier they tend to be under the shelves sort of itching to take a couple of scoops out of that water and dump it up on the shore and see what we find. And I'm thinking about going over there with my little small scoop and digging a hole and seeing what we can get washed out. Here's another decent size one I just pulled out of the, the sand and shells over here. And again, I'm not even digging yet. Literally moving my hand just across move the shell pieces. I think at some point I might want to pick up a paleontology class just so I better know what some of these pieces that I find are. There's one sitting on the top. Oh, and another. There's a nice one. All right. There's a little guy. Oh, there's 
there's one there. Spotted a little what a calico scallop. I think I'm gonna take that guy home too. Alright, down close to the water. First look down, there's one right there. And is this one? Oh wow! It is, and look at that beautiful black root and red brown on the tooth. That's really pretty. Very cool. Let's see what's up here. Take that little guy. See if there's anything else over here. I think so. Yes, indeed, there's another one. Get this guy out of the rack line before the waves take it back. See if teeth wash out. Might disturb the cocoons. I think that's part of it. Bad. Oh wow. Cool. I think. Hi Coquina. Bye Coquina. Now if the water was warmer, I would have my snorkel and I'd be laying in the surf right here because at the very end of this little line, this little break line, things get piled up. The more dark stuff that you see in it, the more chance you have of finding teeth. Ooh, that was cold. Just watching to see if anything washes out. Nice. Probably barracuda. Oh, I just saw one tumble down in the surf. Oh. Got that one before the ocean took it back. John's walking the line. See if he sees anything on the beach. But I'm going to stick in this spot where we are. Because I know there's a pile of stuff in the water right here. See it? as the, wall, the water pulls back. So I had to take off my shoes. They are packed full of pieces of shell and rock and who knows what. So I'm gonna barefoot it a little while and I think I'm gonna stay really close by to where we are so that I don't have to walk around too much without my shoes on. I just cannot get over how much stuff. And I set my stuff down here and somebody came and checked this little pile out while we were checking another one out and picked up a couple. But I sat down and picked one up right there. I already put it in the jar. It was before I changed the battery on the camera. So, so far, I've got my little beach treasure canister about halfway full. And this is a very great little accessory from our friends over at Shark Frenzy in Venice. And it's meant just for putting your uh, teeth in them. And it has this hook on it so that you can hook it to your sifter when you're actually in the water. When the water is warmer, you actually will stand in the water with that sifter that you see with the blue noodle on it and the big scooper off of there, off to the side. You grab a scoop full of stuff, throw it in the sifter, and let the water wash all the sand and everything out of it. And that's usually where you find some of the bigger pieces. Is this one that the other couple missed? Oh, indeed. That's the shark's teeth. Stingray piece. 
So even if somebody looked, you never know what they missed. They might be looking for much tinier or much bigger. And there's so much to look at that it's very easy to miss stuff. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure in the comments somebody will probably tell me they saw one that I missed. What's this? Looks like a piece of turtle shell, actually. Just bent forward because I dropped my necklace. And look at that. There's another one. Pretty cool. Okay, so the waves have gotten pretty big down here from when they head in. And I see where the sand just sort of stops. And then there's like dune there. And some stuff got washed onto this seawall up here. I might just take a peek there for fun. Oh gosh, yeah. All sorts of stuff gets washed up here. I don't know if there's any teeth in it. And there's part of one. And there's one right there. And there's one right there hiding in the shells. Piece of coal. Hello, beautiful. There's one right there. Look at that. There's one right there. Awesome. Let's see if we find anything in here. Did you find another piece of zigzag flat? Nice. Oh. That's another piece of those mouth plates. That's super cool. We're gonna get ready to move spots pretty soon. We found quite a few in this little location we're at. I'm just taking one more glance. See if there's any goodies that were missed. And there's a piece of one right there. There's another one right here. And look at that one. That's cool. Huh, oh, nice hagstone. Sweet. Okay, now we're gonna try something a little different. We'll take this sifter over where John is scooping stuff out of the water edge. And we're gonna go through it and see if we find any teeth. Oh, that's cold. Lucky here. Hello, little guy. Ooh. The big and cold waves. Oh, this is much more fun in the summertime when the water's warm, really. But still, we're having a great day. We're finding lots of really nice smalls. Thank you. 
Okay. And that was a two. Rinse out my shoes so I can put them back on. Two pieces of zigzag flat today, that's crazy. And here, of all places, where everything gets smashed to smithereens. a fragmenton or a piece of turtle shell? I don't know. I don't either. Look what I just found washed in. Oh. Over by the water. Oh, there's some more. We're doing good. I mean, honestly. Another piece of zigzag flat. And a little baby fighting conch, too. Babe, do you want the other jar? Oh, okay. As I say, we got this white one, too. been pushing anything in for us. Kind of looks like it. Oh wow. Look at this guy. That's awesome. Puffer fish mouth plate piece. That is 
is one. Excellent. comes in it seems like more stuff's getting pushed in which is pretty great whoa okay wave up my back not great Jeez. <laughs> I just got so with the sifter is that the holes are bigger so the the little tiny ones sort of just fall through and I find this time of year I just have better luck looking this way just to see what's rolling around in the surf there's one right there Side, but I think I, I just lost it with that last wave wash. Yeah, it's gone. straight to me. So I'm there too.
think I just flipped one out doing that. Right there. Indeed. <laughs> this is so great. Now, I was in Casperson the other day and didn't have nearly this much luck in the teeth department. So I'm kind of glad we came to Stumps. Like I said, it was our first time being here since the storm. Didn't really know what to expect beach-wise, but... Oh, there's another. And another. Oh, I just lost it. Darn. Oh, well. Let's pull some of this pile around. Let's see what a wave wash does to that. Oh, look at there. There's another one. It's almost unbelievable. <laughs> I literally don't have to move. They're just washing out of everything, out of the ocean, out of the piles, right at me. Another one. And there's a beauty. Nice little one right there. And actually, underneath this layer with all this frit, you dig down a little, actually a layer of shells. So I'm just gonna churn a bunch of this over. Oh. And there's one there for that. And just see what all washes out of these piles because with every wave, it seems like something new is washing in from the water or washing out of this pile that I'm in the middle of. Let's drag some of this top layer into the water and see what might be underneath. Might be some good things, we never know. Look alike. Oh, that's cute though. Let's just, uh, you know, flip some of this around. See what washes out. I'm sure there must be more in here. I can't possibly have found them all. Wasn't that fun? Ah, and we're not even done yet. There's still some more shelling and sharking time from this Stumps Pass trip, but we're getting a little close on time here. So this is a good point to stop. And next week we'll do the rest of the shelling and then the identification cutting, drilling, and all that good fun stuff that everybody likes. Thank you so much for coming with me on this journey this week. Stumps Pass was, um, was a gut check. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It was, uh, we've been down there a number of times, and it looked a lot different. Um, the mangoes all stripped off, and the, the trails being closed, no bathhouses and stuff like that. Little by little things are getting there. Um, we've been to Sanibel a couple of times now too, just to see where things are at. So it looks a little rough, but Florida is still recovering and doing better than we were by far in October. So 
stay with us hang in there and i'll keep you updated on all the developments as i see them too and come on back next week where we'll wrap up our stumps trip and some of the really nifty neato cool stuff that i made from this trip i'm going to give you just a little uh little teaser for what's coming next week stay tuned there it is no don't run away got it i look down <laughs> i found this one this was well, thank you very much, Stumps Pass. Now this one here could be a lady in waiting or could be a lightning Venus clam. So come on back next week and check out those neat shell IDs and every other thing that we've got going on. Thanks so much for watching. See you again soon.